So I bought this kit kind of on a whim at the same time I bought this kit and this kit to give away. Um, and to be honest, I'm not sure if this is going to be a giveaway or if it's just something that I'm going to use. But I primarily bought it for the code. And so I don't know Python and I don't know Java. Um, and so this kit... Ooh, that's going to be a loud one. Hmm. Hopefully I muted all the crinkling for you guys. But um, this kit is basically like an Arduino starter kit, but it is Raspberry Pi. And so we're going to open it up and see some familiar stuff in there. We've got the touchpad, RFID, some buttons and transistors and all that kind of stuff. Ribbon cable to connect to the Raspberry Pi. I like that. Uh, servo. This is a little motor driver by the way i have my double knife back for those of you guys who haven't seen this it has two top things so i can put a regular knife out or i can put a hook knife out it has blade storage in here it is a fantastic utility knife i wouldn't use it for roofing or carpet or something like that but i would use it or drywall but i use it as my go-to everyday knife so this is a uh looks like some kind of motor driver I have no idea what this is. Maybe a screen? Yep, this is one of those uh, 16 by 2 LCD screens. And yeah, so I mean you have more buttons and a DHT11 and some resistors and a motor, stepper motor, uh, ultrasonic, and all this stuff. So this is basically an Arduino starter kit. Uh, the, the main thing this gives you is there's a GPIO extension board that will allow you to take the ribbon cable, wherever I put that, allow you to take the ribbon cable and connect it to the GPIO pins on the Pi. So basically the reason why I got this kit is for the instructions. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to play with these parts and stuff like that. But the, the thing is I wanted to learn other ways of programming on the Pi. When I first got my Pi, I did some Python and stuff like that on there, and then I basically discovered Arduino and left all the manual programming aside. So now if I want to program something on the Pi, I use Node Red, and if I want something to just work all the time and, and like an Arduino does, I use C. So this thing has instructions for Java, C, and Python. And so I'm going to give it a try and see what I come up with. So I've used some of the other Freenove kits and I pretty much knew what to expect. You can just go to their GitHub page and uh, search for the model number of your kit. Mine's the Fink25. And uh, they are constantly updating stuff. The license was updated six hours ago. Who knows what they changed since I bought the kit. But basically, you can come in here, you can download the entire repo. You can use Git to pull it into your system. Um, there's a tutorial PDF that was updated just three days ago. So, I mean, it, it's, they're on it with that kind of stuff. If you go into the code, you'll see that they have uh, C and Python or Python, depending on how you like to pronounce it. But if you go in there, you're going to get your basic sketches are right there. But the, uh, the actual tutorial, which I don't even know if I can open it up in GitHub, it's pretty big. But it's several hundred pages. It's way better to open it in a PDF reader. It's a 24 megabyte PDF. But basically, I mean, they spend 20 some pages going through all the details of getting the software set up and all that. It is a very detailed, thorough um, tutorial. And so every single one of these things has their own uh, their own guides and pictures and all that stuff. And they, they give a lot of detail into figuring out which Pi you have and, and all that kind of stuff. And so I followed the instructions and I figured looking at the kit, the most complicated thing seemed to be that little 16 by two LCD. So I'm gonna go through their instructions for Python and see if I can get it to work. Now these kits are a little bit cheaper if you're signed in, but uh, basically this is what you get in the kit and it's a little bit more expensive than the other one. It, uh, I'll say it does exactly what they said it was going to do. So I'm not complaining about that. It's great. But I did notice that if you were to come over and to buy the Arduino kit, you would actually get the Arduino itself. And then the only thing you'd really be missing would be that GPIO thing. So you may decide that 
to save the ten dollars you buy the arduino kit then you actually get the arduino and then you just buy this piece for seven or eight dollars so basically it's kind of like getting a free arduino so i think it's a great kit i think they're both great kits uh, i've learned a lot so far and i hope to learn a lot more so thanks for watching have a great day